Part 2. Solve Linear Equations. You will find this on page 103 in the Namibia Mathematics Grade 9 textbook Y equals MX plus C to success. Solve Linear Equations the formal way. Think of an equation as a pair of scales. The scale balances if each pan holds the same mass. Whatever we do on one side, we must do to the other for the scale to stay in balance. So if we add 2 on this side, we must add 2 on this side. If we subtract 5 on this side, we must subtract 5 on this side. There's your equal sign. This is your two sides. If we multiply 3, it's all right as long as we multiply 3 on this side. If we divide by 4, it's all right as long as we divide by 4 on this side. Okay, so let's look at an example. I'm, I'm just going to make it a bit bigger. So if you look at this example, so if we have this equation, x plus 3 equals 8. Okay, so it's 5 plus 3 equals 8, which is correct. So if we add 2, it's all right, we must add 2, so 10 equals 10. The same, first put that 3 in, then subtract 5 and subtract 5, and again we get that the two sides are equal. So in this case, we multiply 3 and we multiply 3 and we get 24, 24. Okay. And in this case, we are going to say, I think we must just put a bracket here. Okay. So then the sides will be equal. And if we do, do this one, then we are going to say, we divide 4. So again, we must just put a bracket there. So we divide 4 and we divide 4. So I divide 4 is 2. I divide 4 is also 2. And this is just showing you that whatever we do on one side, we must also do to the other side. Okay, let's look at an example. So solve the equation. Again, solve the equation 3x minus 8 equals 10. Okay, so basically... We are, what we are going to do is we want to get the like terms on the same side. So first let's look at this method and then we can look at this easy method to remember. Okay, so basically as we did in grade 8, to get rid of this negative 8, we will add 8, the additive inverse. So if we add 8 on this side, we must also add 8 on this side. So this will cancel out and we have 3x and 10 plus 8 is 18. And now we divide 3 and we divide 3. And we will get that the value of x will be equal to 6. But you can remember it on this one. So take all the like terms to the same side. So can you see? There's a constant. There's a constant. So see it as sheep. And there's a goat. So this sheep must go to this crawl. Now, any term may be transferred from the one side to the other side of the equal sign. But the sign of the term must change. So as soon as this negative 8 jump over the equal sign, it will become a positive 8. So 10 plus 8, that will be 18. Now, when, when I was small, I remember this story. See this as a rainbow. They said if a girl jumps over a rainbow, she will become a boy. And if a boy jumps over a rainbow, he will become a girl. So this negative will become a positive. And a positive will become a negative. Okay. And now we have 3x equals 18. So I divide by 3 to get 1x. And whatever I do on one side, I do on the other side. And I will get that the value of x is 6. So divide by the coefficient of the unknown. Do it on both sides. Okay. I want you to do the following. I want you to do, let's just mark it. Try now to. Do number A, number B, number E, um, number J, as well as number L. You can do that sums. You can stop the video, and as soon as you are finished, you can continue with the video. Let's start. Try now two. And we are going to start with number A. So... Number A, I'm first going to do on the grade 8 method. Now, if you look like terms, this is, an, um, this is having a variable. This is a constant and a constant. Okay. 
So this constant must go to this side. So what I did in grade 8, I was subtracting 11 and I was subtracting 11 on both sides. And then this was cancelling and I was just having x equals 20 minus 11 and the value of x was equal to 9. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to leave out this step. But just remember, this is what I'm doing. I'm actually subtracting 11 on both sides. So let's look at number B. So this was x minus 6 equals negative 3. Now let's just ma ma highlight our like terms, like, like. Now, as I, as I said, this one must go over to this side. So to cancel this negative 6 will be positive 6. So that's why it's positive. So the negative change into the positive due to the cancelling out. So the value of x will be 6 minus 3 and the value of x will be equal to 3. Just very, very important. If you look at this one, just remember, you can test it. So 3, you can substitute it in there. So 3 minus 6, what is 3 minus 6? That's negative 3. So you can always test to see if your solution is correct. Okay, let's go to the next one. Let's just make space. Okay, number E. So if I look at number E, it is 4x plus 3 equals 27. Now again, this is like, like, like. Get the like terms on the same side. So this one, if it jumps over, it becomes a negative. So we have 4x, 27 minus 3, what will that be? 24. Then I'm just going to divide by 4, and I divide by 4 on both sides, and the value of x will be equal to 6. Okay, then it's number j. Let's just make space again. So it's 9x minus 7 equals negative 11. Like, like, like. So basically, I'm just going to cancel this one. So I keep the 9x. And in order to cancel negative 7, I add 7 on both sides. So I add 7 on this side. You don't have to show that cancelling out. So negative 11 plus 7, that will be negative 4. And then... I'm just going to do the last. I'm just going to divide 9, and I'm going to divide 9, and the value of x will be negative 4 over 9. Okay, and then the last one. Let's just do the last one. Number L. Just clean. I just want to make space. Um, number L. So it's minus 103 equals 2x plus 7. So just remember with this one that you can the x can be on the other side. So if I look at that one, I'm, I can work on this side. You can do it on one of two ways. So I'm basically just going to say this is 2x, this is negative 7. So this one can just go over to this side. So I have minus 103 minus 7 equals 2x. So I have minus 110 equals 2x. And then what I'm going to do, I'm just remember not divide by 110, negative 100, but divide by 2, both sides. The value in front of x, the coefficient, the numerical coefficient. And then I'm just going to get my value of L is going to be negative 55. And that's the solution of my equation.